Today on BRS TV, we're going to show you how to reduce the effect of CO2 or carbon dioxide on your DI resin. Hi, I'm Ryan, host of BRS TV How To Tuesdays, where every Tuesday we share a new reefing related how to. This week, we're going to show you the easiest way to extend the lifespan of your DI resin and save some money. Carbon dioxide is one of the primary elements which depletes DI resin quickly and found in many water supplies. If you're burning through resin, this is one of the major causes, and there's a couple easy ways to identify this for sure. First is a simple CO2 test kit from Lamotte, which will test between 0 and 50 parts per million CO2, which covers the range that most people will find themselves in. Less than 15 parts per million is generally considered somewhat low. Over 35 parts per million is pretty high, and you'll be burning through a lot of resin. Alternatively, there's some handy calculators out there, like the one at fishfriend.com, where you enter the pH and alkalinity of your water and it'll estimate your CO2 level. There's also a cool calculator on hamsesreef.com, which estimates how much of your DI resin cartridge is being consumed by carbon dioxide, which is pretty helpful. Once you've identified CO2 as your issue, solving the problem is pretty easy. All you need to do is give the water some time to gas off the excess CO2 before it hits the DI resin. Easiest way to do that is separate the DI resin from your system and feed your storage container with just reverse osmosis water. Then add a power head or air stone which can break the surface tension of the water and allow the excess CO2 to gas off. Give it a day or two to find an equilibrium with the surrounding air and then use a small pump to pump the water slowly from the RO storage container through the DI resin and into a new storage container. We have a ton of these BRS 50 milliliter a minute top off dosing pumps so I was going to use this but you can really use any slow flow pump. This pump can run dry so I'm not particularly worried about making sure it turns off in time but you could use a do it yourself top off solution to turn the pump off if you wanted but even easier you could just use a digital timer to turn it off after a set amount of time as well. Some of you are probably burning through a cartridge of resin a month or even faster, most of it related to CO2, so this project could absolutely be pretty valuable inside of a year. It only takes up a bit more space. If you've solved your CO2 problems and have advice for your fellow reefers, share it in the comments area down below. If you haven't already, it's time to hit that subscribe button because we release new how-to videos every Tuesday and new product demos or educational videos every Friday. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.